Hey guys and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to be talking about the new Chanel Rouge Allure L'Extra lipsticks. This is the first refillable lipstick from Chanel. I already had the lipsticks for the past couple of days so today I'm going to tell you a little bit more about the performance of the lipsticks and I have four colors to show you today. So let's go ahead and get started. If you're new here and you love luxury beauty be sure to join the fun by subscribing. I love Chanel and I love talking about luxury beauty and I would love to have you here. If you're returning welcome back dear friends. Do let me know if you have to try these lipsticks what you think because your opinion is always very important i was very excited to try these new lipsticks from chanel because they are the first refillable lipsticks from chanel and they promise a high shine finish so on chanel's website it says that this is a high intensity lip color concentrated radiance and care and this is exactly what it is i already worn the lipsticks for the past um, two days and i love the formulation so the formulation is very similar to the classic Rouge Allure lipsticks from Chanel, but they feel more moisturizing compared to the classic Rouge Allure lipstick from Chanel. And also the finish is shinier compared to Rouge Allure. Now, I really enjoy the fact that Chanel didn't overdo it with the shine and the lipsticks are not too shiny. They're not too... Uh, glossy in a way that they are going to bleed because sometimes with lipsticks that are too glossy and too shiny they tend to bleed a little so I would say that Chanel managed to create the perfect formulation this is only in my opinion of course um, keep in mind that we all have different opinions on lipsticks but today I'm wearing the shade 812 and I like all of the colors that I purchased I like the fact that this lipstick looks quite intense the color is quite intense and at the same time, it feels very comfortable on the lips. So I would say that it's more moisturizing, it's more nourishing compared to the classic Rouge Allure formula from Chanel. As I'm talking, I'm going to be inserting close-ups and swatches of the colors that I have. And I also want to compare the two bullets, the bullet of the classic Rouge Allure lipstick from Chanel and the new Rouge Allure L'Extrait lipsticks. As you can see that the bullet is just a little bit slimmer, but not too much. It's nothing too dramatic. It's just that the bullet is a little bit slimmer. Now, I don't know exactly how many grams of product is a classic Rouge Allure lipstick from Chanel because the um, quantity of the product is written only on the box and I don't keep any of my boxes of my Chanel lipsticks. I have so many Chanel lipsticks, but I don't have a box. The new Rouge Allure L'Extrait lipsticks are two grams of product. I don't know if this is the same amount of product. If any of you is keeping the box of um, Chanel Rouge Allure lipstick, do let me know in the comment section below how many grams is a classic Rouge Allure lipstick from Chanel, because that's going to give us the um, idea of, of the price point of this lipstick if it's um, a lot more expensive than the classic Rouge Allure formula. And this is how the refills of the lipsticks look. Now something very important that I wanted to mention here, I mentioned this on Instagram the day when I received the lipsticks, you can purchase only the refills from the lipsticks because you're not going to be able to twist them. So you're going to need to have the bullet in order to use the refill. You can't purchase only the refill, which is the case with um, the Sisley refillable lipsticks that were recently launched. I have a review of those lipsticks. I really like them, but they are a lot more sheer. They basically look like lip balms. They are a lot more sheer compared to the new Rouge Allure L'Extrait lipsticks from Chanel. But I just want to show you here. So this is the new Rouge Allure L'Extrait lipstick from Chanel. It comes with the click packaging and it's very easy to replace it with another refill. You just, it only takes like one second to replace it. And, and here, something that some of you might notice and something that probably some of you might think that is not great. Here, there is just a little bit of space. The lipstick is not going to move. It clicks into place, but I just wanted to mention that there is just a little bit of space here as i move the lipstick you're probably going to be able to hear now i'm going to take this lipstick right to the mic so that you can hear the sound that it makes okay so you can you can hear probably because i just took this very close to the mic so this is something that i wanted to mention this is the only thing that could possibly for some people could possibly be an issue in terms of design uh, but it doesn't fall. I've tried it. I've tested it. That's why I wanted to do a review after a couple of days of wear because I wanted to give you a good review. Now I want to go ahead and show you how the Sisley lipstick comes. Here it doesn't look as if it is a refillable lipstick. So it is a little bit better. The, the whole design of the lipstick here where the bullet clicks into the case 
is a little bit better because there is no hole whatsoever. I just take it out and it just clicks completely into place. So there is no, like when I start moving the lipstick, you can't hear anything. So that's just something that I wanted to mention. In terms of formulation, I adore this lipsticks from Chanel. I'm so happy that I purchased four cups. In terms of formulation, way to go Chanel. I think that the formulation is absolutely stunning. I am very happy with the fact that I purchased four lipsticks. I would love to see more colors from these lipsticks. I think that it's great that Chanel are doing refillable lipsticks. Probably the only recommendation that I would have from Chanel is to work a little bit on the design just in a way to make it like the Sisley lipsticks so that once the lipstick clicks into place that it's going to be completely seamless. This is the only thing that I have. And then I wanted to show you actually that with the Sisley lipsticks, if you take out the bullet, you can twist the lipstick and you can use it. This is not possible with the Chanel lipsticks. You need the bullet, you need the lipstick case um, so that you can use the lipstick and so that you can twist it because the refill, it's very tiny, it just comes like this and I can't twist it. I can't take the product out. So it's twisted from the inside. I'm going to insert now videos of me wearing the four colors so that you can see how they look on my lips as well. I'm very happy with all of the four colors. And in the meantime, I'm going to tell you a little bit more about the performance of the lipstick. I adore this lipstick formulation because it is a high shine finish, but it's not too shiny. You can probably see this on my lips. My lips feel very moisturized all day long when I'm wearing the lipstick. Now, it's not a long lasting lipstick. Keep that in mind. It is a lipstick that you're going to have to reapply throughout the day, but, but I think that that's to be expected from this kind of lipstick. I have never seen a lipstick that has a high shine finish that can last all day and can survive if you drink coffee, if you eat. It lasts very well on my lips. On my lips, it lasts just as good as the classic Rouge Allure lipsticks from Chanel. And for me, that's enough to justify my purchase. Keep in mind that I am a Chanel lover, so you have to decide for yourself whether this purchase is going to be justified for yourself or not. It is an expensive lipstick. For sure, you're going to have to spend 55 US dollars to get the, the bullet of the lipstick. And then if you want to purchase more refills. I'm very happy that I decided to skip the Chantecai lip chicks because I prefer this formula from Chanel because it is a lot more long lasting and it doesn't bleed as much as the Chantecai lip chicks bleed on me. The color is definitely a lot more intense compared to the lip chicks from Chantecai and the more product I apply on my lips the shinier the color gets but it's not too shiny. I think that this is the perfect lipstick formulation to offer a good amount of hydration to people who have sensitive lips or if you like a little bit more shine but at the same time it is not too shiny so for me way to go chanel the formulation is absolutely outstanding so depending on the amount of coffee that i drink the lipstick lasts really good on me it lasts somewhere in between three to six hours once again it depends very much on your lifestyle it depends very much on are you going to eat? Are you going to drink? Of course, if you eat and drink, the lipstick is going to wear off. This is not a long wearing lipstick. This is just a moisturizing lipstick with a high shine finish. I truly enjoy the formulation. And do let me know in the comment section below if any of you keeps the boxes of your uh, regular classic Rouge Allure lipsticks, how many grams of product we have here. The new Rouge Allure lipsticks from Chanel are two grams of product, but it's written only on the box. On the back here, it doesn't say how many grams of product we have in a classic Rouge Allure, Rouge Allure lipstick. So overall, I really love this new lipsticks from Chanel. I think I love the formulation more than the new La Comet lipsticks because the new La Comet lipsticks, they were matte and they felt a little bit more drying on my lips. I think that this is a very fun, fun formulation from Chanel. It's a good formulation um, from Chanel that I enjoy wearing and I would love to see more colors. I definitely want to see more nude colors in this collection because we have some red colors. There are a lot of reds actually in this collection, but I want to see more nudes from Chanel. So way to go Chanel. I'm looking forward to seeing more shades being added to this new Rouge Allure L'Extrait lipsticks from Chanel. And since we all have different opinions, on makeup do let me know in the comment section below if you do not agree with me or if you didn't like the formulation it's always very useful when you share opinions and be sure to check out the comment section below because we have makeup artists here we have uh, very knowledgeable 
people here who have amazing makeup collections so leave me a comment when you get the chance to try this lipstick let us know how they worked for you i absolutely adore this new formulation from chanel and now i wanted to give you an update about the new camellia highlighter that i showed in previous video i absolutely love this camellia highlighter i'm wearing it today on my face and i have it also on my eyes now when i was doing the review i had to go to an eye doctor and i was not able to apply it on my eyes i promise that i'm going to show you how it looks on my eyes so this is how it looks on my eyes today i have only the camellia highlighter on my eyelids and then i have um, a little bit of black coal eyeliner and mascara that's it that's all that i have on my eyelids it gives just a very light sheen, but I'm looking at myself in the mirror right now. I have a big window right here and a lot of natural light coming. So it just gives a um, very natural sheen on my eyelids, but not really shimmer. You can see that even the highlighter, it is quite sheer, it is quite transparent. I think that this highlighter is going to work beautifully on all skin tones. That's my opinion. And now a lot of you Chanel lovers probably remember that a few years back Chanel used to have a camellia highlighter that looked very similar and I'm going to be able to show you a swatch of the old camellia highlighter versus this camellia highlighter. I absolutely love when you send me swatches that I can show and insert in my YouTube videos because we are such a friendly community here and it's very useful. I don't own all the makeup products out there and it's very useful when you decide to send me swatches of some products that you want to see. So I'm happy to show the photo of Isabel. I'm going to have a link to Isabel's Instagram account in the description box. She also has a YouTube channel and thank you so much Isabel for showing us a swatch of this highlighter. Now looking at her swatches, I think that Isabel has a quite very similar skin tone to mine. She made the swatches in natural light. Her swatches are incredibly good quality and I made my swatches in natural light as well. Still keep in mind that we are two different people with two different cameras, but still I think that you're going to have an idea of the similarity of the highlighter. I don't think that this is the same highlighter. It's not announced as a re-promote. And at the same time, if you take a closer look at the swatches, mine and Isabel's, you're going to see that probably on Isabel's swatch, the highlighter looks a little bit more with a little bit more coverage. Whereas the new Camellia highlighter, I think that it looks more transparent and it looks more sheer. So I don't think that this is a dupe. A huge thank you to Isabel for sending me swatches and for allowing us to see how the old Camellia highlighter looks. I don't think that they are dupes. I think that this is a different highlighter. However, we have to admit that they look very similar. So if you are like me and you skipped the last Camellia highlighter, then I think that you can go ahead and enjoy this one now because the design is absolutely gorgeous. It is a piece that I wish I could keep for my collection and I wish I could have two of those highlighters, one to keep in my collection because the design is truly spectacular. I mentioned this in my previous video and I'm going to mention it again. I want to see more similar products from Chanel, products that I want to keep on my dressing table, products that are collectible. I want to see more beautiful designs from Chanel just like the design of this beautiful camellia highlighter. So that was all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and please be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you here. Take care. Bye.